Therefore, be it resolved that I, Jonathan Vines, up on the city of Evansville, along with B.J. Watts, president of the Evansville City Council, do hereby proclaim April 23rd, 2009, as Taylor Swift Day in Evansville, Indiana. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. We thank you. That is thank so you. sweet of you. Thank you very much. I will leave this for you because I don't want to interrupt. Thank you. Yes, that's awesome. Thank you so much. We picked Evansville because um, I remember we had a couple different options as to where to start out the tour. And this is so random, but there was this group of girls when I was first starting out when I was 16 years old. And I was playing the Wild Horse Saloon in Nashville, Tennessee. And the craziest group of people in the entire crowd were these 12 girls. And so after the show, I was like, Mom, you gotta go get these girls. They were screaming and they made shirts and they had like face paint on, like they were at a hardcore football game or something. And uh, so my mom brings them backstage and I was like, where are you guys from? And they go, we drove all the way here from Evansville, Indiana. And so I've always had this really good vibe in my head whenever I thought of Evansville, Indiana because of these girls. And um, so when they gave me options as to where to start the tour, I was like, that one. <laughs> How long have you been here? I've been here for three or four days. So I've been here rehearsing. I've been at the arena all day. And um, it's just been really cool to see everything come together. Rehearsing for this tour, uh, we actually got a warehouse in Nashville and set up the entire stage, and we were there for the last three weeks. A lot of work. There's a lot of work that's gone into this. This is absolutely my baby. It's my obsession. It's the thing that I've wanted to do since I was really little, and I've been opening up for people since I was 16, so that, that's been um, a long time for me to sit there in my tour bus at night and think, what would I do if, if I got to actually do this? What would, what would I do? How would I end the show? And so there are a lot of ideas that have gone in, into this show that I thought of when I was, you know, 16, 17, and even going back to when I was sitting in school just daydreaming about what I wish I could do someday on the stage. Were you able to put um, into action everything you wanted to do in the studio? I was definitely allowed to put everything into action here. Um, this is a great place to start the tour. I'm just really excited about being here, everyone's been so welcoming, and we haven't had to cut back on any of our production. Everything fit, all the big video screens, all the big wings, like it was really, really cohesive to our stage. Oh yeah. Uh, so many times I look around me and I'm just like, really? Really? Like especially this week, walking around and seeing my face on a truck. Um, or like 12 trucks for that matter. It's like, really? This is actually happening right now. And there are so many times where I just look around and I'm like, this actually worked? Because I, I remember when I was younger, you know, I'd be at talent shows and stuff and there were all these kids that would run around and they're like, I'm gonna be famous someday. And like, I was never that kid. I was always just like, I like doing this, but it might not work out and it probably won't work out because all those other people think that it's gonna work out for them, so why should it work out for me? So I think when you, uh, when you look at it that way your whole life and then it actually happens for you, every day is like this really wonderful surprise that it actually happened. The, um, the stage is really interesting because it's one of the only times that this kind of stage has been used. The entire stage, you can project on it. So um, the stage changes every single time we change a song or sometimes halfway through the song. So you're never really seeing the same thing visually. We wanted to divide this, this show into three acts. Um, I started out doing theater, so it's really fun for me to see things unfold in a way that's different than your typical I'm gonna play this song, and then I'm gonna play this song, and then I'm gonna play this song, and there's gonna be some video. Um, I really wanted there to be more to this tour than that. I wanted to be performing from different places in the arena, not just one stage. I wanted there to be um, different videos that we've made like in advance, that we put a lot of effort into. I wanted there to be theatrical things and elements where dancers are playing different parts and you're seeing a story kind of unfold in front of you. Also, um, 
we have this light up castle that is pretty big and pretty fun. And you know me, I um, live for an on stage costume change, so of course there's going to be some of those. Well, I just want to say thank you for, for being there for me because they're the only reason that I get to do this. They're the only reason I get to go out there on stage and do what I love. Um, and I'll be back. Okay, so um, we just finished the first meet and greet and uh, now there's some chanting people that sound really fun and I think I'm gonna go say hi to them. fans would be here. I thought they'd be calm and cool, but it's just amazing seeing all these people being happy and excited, so. Here we are here in Evansville, Indiana, getting ready to start our first night on the Fearless Tour with Taylor Swift. We've uh, made our way, finally through all those rehearsals, all those auditions, it's opening night, we're all excited, we're anxious, uh, first time in front of a live crowd. We all freak out when there's a camera, and we're like, <laughs> We're wearing our opening outfit for the very first song, You Belong With Me. And we are imitating cheerleaders. We're imitating the stuck up cheerleaders that you see. We are not every high school. We are. <laughs> well, I am the infamous Drew and in Teardrops on My Guitar. So it's a fun little number and uh, get to ignore Taylor and pretend like she doesn't exist. So, kind of the antithesis of what every guy would hope to do. So, it's a fun number. I like it. How many layers do you have on? Well, I have a t shirt and then I have a dress shirt, a suit, and then marching band out of it. So, a few layers. Yes. But he wears, he wears his wetsuit underneath it all. Yeah, my wetsuit. Just surfing immediately. Yeah. I have to say, I'm a little nervous, but it's, I don't think, if, if, I, if I wasn't nervous, then that, that would mean that I wouldn't care. I think as long as I have some sort of butterflies, it means that I care. You know what I mean? And the day that I go out in front of 20,000 people and I don't have butterflies, there should be something wrong with me. Ha <laughs> ha